Do you ever just like wish people were in uh, Discord voice chats? Like when I am here, and I'm scrolling through all my friend servers, and literally nobody, and I don't think anybody's been in. I'm, and it makes me kind of sad. Quite often. literally looking through the. My server, my friend server, for servers. Okay, there's one person in the. Okay, well, there's one person in the. Five people are. But in, in like YouTuber server, surely. All my friend servers. No, nobody's in VC. And it makes me sad because I feel like I've disconnected from a lot of people just accidentally because I throw myself into work, especially with like I just dropped the video. You know, it's like a 30. Three minute video that took a long time you know i i feel like i don't really connect with people all that often and that kind of really sucks if i'm honest because it's like i feel like i've kind of broken relationships with people accidentally not even because like anything happened but just because i wasn't there and i was always busy alone creating my stuff and so um, my one youtuber group that i was a part of I'm, i was a part of a few of them but now i feel like i've just accidentally disconnected myself because I'm just so busy, right? And that that's this always happens to me every time. It's like that's why I only have like a few close friends and then everybody else to me is like weirdly acquaintances because it's like if I'm friends with them, then that means I have to actually be in contact with them like 24/7. And if I'm not, then they just, you know, uh accidentally like drift away from me. And that's why I feel like a lot of uh YouTube people that I would consider my friends wouldn't consider me their friend simply because I'm not ever there for them because I'm always busy doing my stuff and that really sucks. Cuz pond boys i love my pond boys so much there was a group chat called the pond boys there was like 20 different people and i'm I'm not gonna name any of them but there are a lot of people really cool and then we all drifted apart nothing bad happened or anything it's just like life happened and it makes me sad because like it makes me miss the good times it makes me miss the good times of being able to jump in a uh, discord voice call with some friends and we would just play among us and dang dude it <laughs> i miss it and whenever we try to reconnect again with like the group uh most of the group's gone now you know most of the group have either blown up so they're busy doing their stuff and they're not responding to dms and then you got the people that are just busy with life and have like literal families there's one guy that literally has like an entire family so i can't blame him you know what i mean so it's just like i, I, I don't know it's it's late at night i'm just thinking midnight with master eth time quite honestly um my fans on in the background this is what i just don't care you know i'm i just need to talk but it's like i miss discord voice calls old-fashioned discord voice calls where people would always be in voice voice chats i remember like once a week i used to go through my discord on like sundays because that was my day off and then i'd i'd find a group of voice call and then just jump in and talk to people and i miss that and i miss being in voice calls with people and i want to do that more I think I'm gonna try my best from now on to to really be in voice calls a lot more in general because I, I think I miss that human connection, especially because of last year. Everybody knows what happened last year, but like I feel like because of last year I've been very disconnected and whenever I'm connected to the internet, it's like it's a very weird thing because it's like either I'm having fun talking to friends or I feel depressed because I feel like everybody is blowing up except me type deal, which is very selfish. But when you've been doing this thing for six years, it kind of feels lonely because it's like you have all these peers and all these friends, you know, they're doing great. Their their numbers are up and you're happy for them. But then at the same time, you have th these other YouTubers that are still like in the same place that they've always been, despite the fact that they've been doing it way longer. And then other people blow up and they've been doing it less. And it's like, well, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? But it's like it's not because you're doing anything wrong. It's because everybody, you know, they grow at different times. You know what I mean? So it's not because I'm doing anything wrong because like I know what I'm doing and I know I'm doing stuff that's right. You know, I'm making videos about stuff that nobody really makes videos about because I want to and I want people to know about really cool creations that nobody else knows about. I got a comment on my most recent video that said, if you didn't make this video, I wouldn't have known about this. And that's the whole point of like my creativity. Like I want people to know the good in the world instead of like the negativity and the criticisms and the bad. Obviously, there's a time and place for criticisms, but I don't think all the time is the best time for criticisms but that's my opinion um anyways basically to say i just miss discord voice calls um and i think it's because a lot of my youtube acquaintances youtube friends 
I, I, I want to consider them my friends. I really do. I really do. And I hope they consider me their friends, but I feel this awkward pressure because half these people that I would consider friends, I feel like to me, I would be their acquaintance simply because we never really talk, which is stupid. The only reason I would consider them friends is because we both make YouTube videos. Well, that's kind of dumb. So it's like, I don't know whether to consider them friends or acquaintances. So it's this weird thing of like, oh yeah, I have YouTube friends. No, I have like two YouTube friends and then a lot of YouTube acquaintances. That's kind of how it goes. Um, which is sad because I wish I had more YouTube friends because I don't really have like a big uh, circle of friends like YouTube YouTube wise. I just have a few close friends from my hometown and then I have a few that I've uh, deeply connected with over the internet and that's it. And by few, I mean like two, like two people out of like the 20 to 30 people I probably met on the internet and actually like, you know, would consider a friend but can't because I don't really talk to them all that much. And I loved... Uh, when the pond boys we would we would always do like game nights and i miss that you know i just miss connecting with those specific people because that they were kind of a click not in a bad way but it's just like they were the one youtube group that i felt like kind of at home in a weird way i've only felt that one other time when i visited some of my friends in a different state but i think like online wise like i felt kind of at home because i was like yeah we're all kind of like youtube uh reviewers in a sense like we all kind of like review our own stuff and i felt like kind of at home because like i would review my indie games people would review games people would review you know stuff like that and it was cool it was a really cool connection and i still watch these boys like i think me and two other guys literally posted like videos that were like 30 minutes today and i watched all of them and like they're great that's so cool um but i don't know you know i just miss the the youtube connection i have no clicks anymore and that's sad because i used to for a bit and i didn't really recognize it until it was too late so moral of the story is always be aware with where you are in life because sometimes you'll have nights where it's 2 a.m and you're thinking and you're like dang i miss this group of people and i have video evidence like i literally have a few among us videos of like the pond boys and us you know just playing games playing among us and that was really fun and i missed that time I might start crying, but like I miss that time, that simpler time where I could just hop in a voice call. And there's several groups that I've hopped in a voice call with, and then voice calls don't happen anymore, and then people drift apart. But I guess that's just life, and maybe I'm just complaining about nothing because I don't know, it's happened a lot in my life where I have a group of people, and then they leave, and then I'm kind of alone. And I'm like, well, uh, I guess we'll go back to our uh, one to two very close friends like we've been doing this entire time. But I don't know. I just think it would be cool to make more YouTube friends for the sake of genuine friendship, not numbers, because that's a toxic cycle. I never want to use anybody for numbers ever, ever. This is probably why I never collaborate with anybody, because then I would feel like I've just been using them for numbers, which I'm not. But I feel like that's what they would think in my mind. So I'm like, OK, well, it's fine because I want to do everything myself anyways, which is why it was a godsend to message uh 10 of my friends acquaintances whatever you want to call them at this point and add them in my bounty battle video that was the only way i could add some of my really good uh youtube acquaintances friends i'm from uh, i'm just gonna call them youtube friends unless they're like hey i'm not your friend um because it's just easier than it sounds better than acquaintances anyways but i don't know i kind of feel like to me or to them, I am their acquaintance, not friend, because the connection is not like fully made yet. But anyway, I was I was trying to make a point here, basically, and I kind of flopped. But point is, it's very important to always be aware in life that people are going to leave, and that's okay. People are okay to leave. You know, they got life, they got the career, they got the family, and that's totally fine. I'm not mad or upset or anything. I'm just in a very introspective mood because this is Midnight Myth with Master ETH and that's how we're going to do it. I don't care how many people see this. I really don't care who sees this. But I felt like I needed to talk about this because I miss my boys. Especially because of last year. I feel like a lot of people miss a lot of people simply because, you know, you can't really be there physically. So when you can't even be there on the internet then what are you at that point and that's kind of i feel like i've failed a lot of people not intentionally but just because of like i don't know i'm always busy i'm a workaholic and that's how i be 
right? I spent three months on a video. I posted it. And cool, the, some of these people from my group, right? Like they saw it and that's cool. But I feel like I've lost connection with a lot of really cool people. And I'm sorry <laughs> for being a workaholic and that being my personality and just me in general. You know, I, I wish I was better with connecting with people. But now once a week, I just uh, play video games with like two of my friends and that's it. And I do that once a week when I should be doing that way more with a lot more than my friends, like a different variety of friends. But because I'm always so in my head of like, okay, I need to get this done, get this done. I never really make time for the possibility of other friendships, which sucks, but that's on me. And I, I feel bad. I like, I genuinely feel bad. So if we're YouTube friends or acquaintances, I hope we're YouTube friends, but if we are, just know that I don't hate you. I'm not upset with you. I'm just constantly busy. I am a workhorse. I, I love all my friends. I don't care who you are. Love all my acquaintances. Love everybody. Genuinely. But I apologize for just always working all the time and not making time for anybody else, really, because I just feel like I'm always running the clock, like I'm always chasing the clock. The only time I feel like I'm not chasing the clock is when I'm late at night when I just don't want to sleep or on my day off. And that sucks, but that's just life. So basically, I miss I miss talking to people that actually relate to me instead of feeling like nobody cares about what I do. Because when I find people like the Pawn Boys where we all do the same thing, it is so refreshing because then I think, oh, these people care because they know the processes. They know how to make videos. They know the mindset and the work ethic that you need for that kind of thing. Whereas everybody else, I feel like it's just like, oh, he makes videos. That's easy. People don't realize how much uh, like video essays or analysis is, analysi, whatever. I don't even know the plural of that, but people don't realize how much mental effort goes into that specific kind of video where words are very important and structure is very important and editing is very important and pacing. There's just a lot of things. But with that group specifically, you know, I felt kind of at home. It was like one of my homes. It was like, hey, we can just hang out and chill. I can make jokes. We can all make jokes. And it was genuinely a fun time. And I'm not just talking just, just with the Pond Boys, with like any of my friends, any of my groups, you know. It's just nice to be in a community. And I feel like I've lost that community just in general, right? And that's kind of my own fault for choosing the genre that I am. But at the same time, I chose my genre because, in my opinion, I believe I can give the most value that way instead of complaining about what James Charles did. So that's my thing, though. <sighs> All right, I think I'm going to stop recording because we've been 13 minutes somehow. But uh, yeah, I'm in that with Master Eth. I was going to stream Kingdom Hearts, but I was like, you know, people drop off uh, when I stream Kingdom Hearts, apparently, which is weird. But it's fair. It's it's a nostalgia rush for me. So I was like, you know, I'll just record this little thing. But I'm not tired, and that sucks. But it's okay. I love all of my friends, all my acquaintances. I love you to death. It means so much to me. YouTube people, I, I value you highly, right? For friends or acquaintances, you mean a lot to me because I tend to feel alone a lot of the time because I feel like nobody really cares about what I do ever. So the fact that I can find a community and find YouTubers that are on a similar level as me and at least do the similar stuff as me genre wise with YouTube, like I'm happy, like I'm happy to find those people and to accidentally lose those people because everybody's with busy with life or I'm just a workaholic and I haven't made time for anybody, then that's my fault, truly. So yeah, always be aware of where you are in life and be thankful for where you are in life, no matter where you are. Like, I'm thankful for where I am in life now, but at the same time, I kind of wish I was earlier in life so I could appreciate... <laughs> so I can appreciate friendships more. So I can appreciate people more. Just in general. I miss my boys. <laughs> I miss everybody. 
and it's my fault.